boy Heaven Hollywood back on the IE Network. This is the Heaven Hollywood Report, and let's get to it. So it looks like Rihanna has unfollowed Megan Thee Stallion. And for all y'all that's going to go and say, or for y'all even do it, I'm going to shut you down. Oh, Rihanna was never following her. Stop it. She followed her back in 2019. Uh, and as of today, she's no longer following Megan Thee Stallion. And she also looks as though she removed her off of the Savage Fenty page as well. Now, people like to say when it's their fave, they like to say, oh, that means nothing. But when it's other people, they start laughing. It means something because if it didn't mean something, these celebrities know that people are watching. They know that Twitter has the detectives, uh, Instagram, got Instagram detectives, Lipstick Alley, got Lipstick Alley. They, they know that there are social media detectives and they know that they're going to pick it off. They, they know who follows and unfollows. So when they do it, they do it because they want people to see. And that's kind of a way of never really having to face the person. I think that's a little cowardly, you know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure Rihanna doesn't call them and like, you know what, you're done. I'm sure when, when social media started talking about Ari and next thing you know, Rihanna removed Ari. When it happened with Drea, I'm sure she did. Then let's, let's not forget, she removed Drea because of her making the comments about Meg Thee Stallion. So now all of a sudden she's removing Meg Thee Stallion and took her off the website. Now, people are going to speculate what happened. Is she doing that? Because she, the first thing people are going to say that, that they want to believe is, oh, she no longer believes Meg. She thinks Meg is lying. So now she's Team Tory. Or was it the backlash from this video? Now, if it was the backlash of this video, Rihanna, you're a hypocrite. And I love Rihanna, but it better not be because of the backlash of the video because who has had more symbolism in their videos than Rihanna? Rihanna's had, sim had symbolisms. One of the most broke, broken down videos ever was Umbrella. She had, she had crazy symbolism in Umbrella. She had it in Pour It Up. So Rihanna can't be, it, it, I hope it ain't that. She's a hypocrite. If now, just because she's knocked up by ASAP Rocky and she's a billionaire, she's going to get all holy and thou. No, 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 ma'am. It don't work like that. You are still in it. You're still in it till you buy yourself out of it. So until you buy yourself out of it, Rihanna, you're still down with Goat Lucy. I love you and everything. But stop. Other than that, are, is she showing that she's Team Tory? Is she going to start following Tory Lanez now? You know, jumping on everybody else's bandwagon? I'm so, so sick and tired of these people. This case just needs to get over with. And if it turns out that Megan's telling the truth, if I'm Megan, I'm not giving anybody any forgiveness. Same thing with Tory. If it turns out the ones that are staying on Megan's side, if it turns out that Tory is telling the truth, anybody that tries to slide over there like, hey, Tory, if I'm Tory, I'll be like, nah, 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 stay on that side. Moving on to Kanye West. Kanye West put out, uh, I believe this story, was, it happened in 2019, but he put up an article that said Pete Davidson angers, you know, audience by making a, a sex with baby jokes. Now, I vaguely remember this happening. I really don't know what the joke was. It was probably on Saturday Night Live or what have you. But everybody got offended by it. And Kanye was uh, posting that saying, this is the reason why I don't want skeet around my kids which I told y'all he was going to eventually say that because he knows if if Pete isn't around uh, the kids, if he's around the kids, if he says, I don't want you around my kids, more than likely that means he can't be around Kim. And that's what Kanye wants ultimately. Um, he also came after Trevor Noah, 
call him a coon, a coon by ya, my lord, coon, coon by ya. He ended up deleting that on, on on Instagram, but this is this is just crazy. He's saying that he also said that he's afraid that Pete Davidson is going to get Kim Kardashian hooked on drugs. Now, according to my sources, he has hit up Ariana Grande and he's trying to get Ari. He's trying to drag ponytail into it by saying, what, what was the reason that you broke up with him? And didn't he have a bad drug issue? And then you end up cutting him off. But Ariana Grande is not going to give Kanye West any information. She is not cool with Kanye like that. She's not going to give Kanye any information, but Kanye West has been trying to get information from Ariana Grande. All right. You know, Kanye saying he's afraid that Pete's going to get Kim hooked on drugs. He also says because of this comment that Pete made about sleeping with babies is the reason why he doesn't want Pete around his children. Now, I don't like I said, I don't know how that was made if he did make it. If he made it in the context of SNL, did he write that joke? You have to you have to wonder. A lot of times they don't write their own jokes. Now, if he was just making it as a joke, as a stand-up, what have you, then yes, that is his joke. And Kanye would have the right to feel that way. I get it. But Kanye, the only reason when you lose credit is, what about all the things you're doing? Is that healthy for your children? That's not healthy either. It looks like you're kind of just looking for an excuse. You say you don't want Kim back, but you don't want uh, her near Pete. So what is that telling me? Ah, this dude, man. It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Please comment below if you want to see a video on someone. Hit me up and we can um, you know, discuss getting that video done for you by a special request. Let me know in your comments below. And also what you think about these two topics. So we have in Hollywood. I'll catch you on the next one.